Okay, next cloud for content creators. Um, this, yep, double check, that is me. Uh, my name is Brett Duncan. I am from Houston, Texas. And uh, by day, I work in application support and development, primarily .NET. Uh, but by night, I run a YouTube channel that you've probably never heard of called Raid Owl. Uh, primarily focused on home lab and self-hosted content. So naturally, you can see where Nextcloud fits into that. And um, Nextcloud is an integral part to how some of these videos are created. And um, I do have quite a large team, so I only have five minutes. I'll see if I can get through everybody. Um, yeah, it's, it's just me. I am a small team. Uh, that's kind of a half joke because I do have a buddy of mine who's getting into editing, so we do collaborate, but the point of this presentation is to kind of show how Nextcloud fits into my workflow and how it can be used for even larger creators of not just one, not just two, very large teams. So this slide's pointless, don't know why I put it in there. I run Docker uh, with Nextcloud on it, cool, next. Um, this is my main workflow, the things highlighted in Red are the manual processes. Things in white are automated. Import the media into Workstation PC until we find a robot that can take the memory card out of my camera and put it into my computer. That stays manual. Uh, Workstation PC creates proxies. For those that don't know, a proxy is essentially a compressed version of a larger video file that's obviously easier to store, most of the time easier to edit. Those are created by my workstation. Uh, those are synced to Nextcloud via the desktop client. Um, the next things are kind of the meat and potatoes of this where I go in and create a project folder and a kind of folder structure. I then create a task list for each individual project. I then create a talk room for me and my um, editor to collaborate on. Then I move those proxies to the project folder. All is manual from there. He can go and download them, edit, upload, bada bing, bada boom. What I wanted to focus on is that manual process. Um, something about content creators, not just me, a lot of the ones I talk to love templates, templates for everything. And when it comes to creating a video or a project, it adheres to that template 99 out of 100 times. And for me, having the ability to create a project or a template where when I spin up a project, I give it a name and boom, that same folder structure is created, a talk room is created, a task list is created that forms from my template, and even a proxy folder. And why I have that highlighted is because that is the other kind of aspect that I would think that could kick Nextcloud into this all-in-one platform for content creators. Um, I have used the unofficial supported uh, proxy generator, but I think with a bit of work, now that uh, I can use something besides PHP, because the only extent of PHP development I have is, is breaking my WordPress deployment. So I can break something in another language now. But these are the things that I would like to see in terms of creating proxies, because that is a huge integral part to content creation workflows. So the ability to put that all in one would be fantastic and would look something like this. <sighs> Again, until we have the robots, import the media, go in and create the project in Nextcloud, that template that I was talking about, everything downstream is created, even a proxy folder. I could then upload my originals to Nextcloud locally. Nextcloud would handle the proxy creation, removing originals if you want to save space. Editor can then download the proxies, do his, do his job that I pay him nothing for, and um, cool, everyone's happy. But that would be an interesting th thing to see. Maybe Nextcloud Hub 7, maybe I take it upon myself to do it. Maybe I leave it to someone smarter than me, but that would be cool to see. Um, it would be cool to see lots of different creators using Nextcloud in this um, kind of way. So. With that said, I wouldn't be a content creator if I didn't ask. Please subscribe to my channel, uh, Ray Owl on YouTube. Thank you. Here's your... Um